Hey, welcome. This is Dr. Matt Bergman and Adobe Express is a free tool that you can use for K through 12 uh, teachers and also students. And it's very helpful because it gives students all sorts of different tools and AI features that they can use to develop images, pictures, even websites. And it's completely free. There's also a classroom feature that you can use to assign uh, assignments and just monitor what students are doing. Uh, so let's check it out. So if you want to learn more about the education features, I'd recommend going to adobe.com slash education and you can check out some of the features here for students and also educators. It'll give you some different ideas on how you can use generative AI and class activities uh, and even give you some uh, just different features to check out some examples. So I really like uh, some of the things that you can do with this particular tool. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and you'll notice that it's very similar in uh, some ways to Canva. Uh, and then there are some differences as well. Um, so right here's the dashboard and you can see right here, I have all of my different uh, tools to just get started quickly. I have over here, I have some of my uh, stuff. So I have basically a folder of all of the content that I have. So if I click on this, it'll show you all the different projects that I have. Um, I can click on home. It'll take me back to that screen. You also have this classrooms tool. So you can create classrooms for your students and you can basically uh, give them assignments to complete, templates. Uh, you can watch and monitor their progress. And once again, that's free for teachers in K through 12 uh, education. Uh, there's also templates uh, and the ability to learn a little bit more about this tool. Uh, so once again, I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to use it. Uh, just so that you can get started. Now, first of all, uh, there's a couple different ways to get started. You can click on the plus sign right here and you can choose from a different canvas, different types of tools like an Instagram post, a TikTok video, even a poster. Uh, and you can even click right here on some different actions as well. I'm going to just simply uh, show you how you can start from just taking a picture, an image and well, recreating it. So you can see right here, I have uh, this particular picture. I can choose some different types of canvases to use. And it also uh, give me some different, um, you know, templates that I could possibly do. I'm just going to do this square version right here. And you can see that I can move this around. I can change my picture around a little bit. If I'd like, I can change the background of my picture. Um, you know, just simply by clicking right here and, and changing that. Um, and then there's some features. So you have, this is a Instagram square, but I also have some other templates that I could possibly add. Um, I could add text. So if I wanted to add um, my own text right here, I could say Aloha. And uh, once again, I can change, I could change the way that this text appears. So I can change the size of the text. Uh, if I'd like, uh, I can go and there's different layouts, there's different ways of doing it. I have, you know, I can add an outline. So this would be a really great feature for maybe students are, uh, you know, coming up with uh, defining a vocabulary term, or maybe they're creating an infographic for, for class, or um, maybe they're creating a book cover, or maybe they have to illustrate a particular concept. Maybe they're developing a presentation. There's all sorts of different ways that you can use this tool and you can just simply click on download and then you can download it as a ping file, JPEG, even a PDF. Uh, so that's really helpful. The other thing that you can do too is you can generate things with AI. So you could actually generate an image right here. And this is what's really neat about this is I could say uh, generate a creature that is a combination of a duck and a sunflower. See what it does. Uh, so the cool thing about Adobe Express is that it uses images from the Creative Commons. So you're not necessarily running into copyright issues with some of the things that you're generating. This particular tool right here to generate an image, that's pretty cool actually, um, is I, this is a great way to help students with their writing skills and descriptions, um, helping them generate images. I uh, heard a, uh, a presenter once talk about this idea of a creative creatures project. So they generate this and then they write something about this particular creature. Uh, maybe they, uh, you know, you want to combine things. Maybe you want to generate things. Maybe you want to 
um, talk about this in a story. You know, there's all sorts of different ways to possibly use it. I'm going to just go back. Now, here's other uh, quick actions that you can follow. Browse templates. Uh, if I click right here, I could even say, hey, you know what? I want to make a website. And you can do that. You can actually create a website. Let me just uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. let me go back here. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to say web page. There we go. Okay. So what's really cool about this feature is that you can have uh, students go through, and they can create their own web page. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And let's say, for instance, you want to put together a learning journal or even a, uh, a visual essay. So imagine that you have students sharing a story about something. I saw an example not too long ago about the components of a cell and how cell division takes place. And they did it in the form of a Halloween house, haunted house. And they wrote their story and description on that. And then the images that they generated were images that they created through generative AI. So that was really neat that you can do that. Now, right here, I have all sorts of different things that I can do. I can um, edit this at any point. I can click on the different objects, add text, add pictures. If I want to replace this object, I can most certainly do that by adding my own photos. I can add photos that it has. I can even create a photo in generative AI and place it in here. I might have to download it and then upload it uh, depending on what I'm trying to do. But, you know, there's all sorts of cool different things that you can um, really create with Adobe Express. So how would I how would I actually share that web page? So I'm going to share with you another example. This is just one I put together and <laughs> just threw it together, really. And I'm going to click right here on share. And what's really nice about this is that uh, the education version has some privacy uh, settings in here to make this particular uh, thing private. I'm showing you the just the free version of Adobe Express, but I can simply hit copy and then uh, you know share that link. Uh, you can use the classroom feature to share, have the students share that with you. So there's a lot of privacy settings I, I think that are really helpful in the education uh, setting, the education version here. If you're going to use that in a K through 12 school, uh, because it's protecting student privacy, so you can learn more about that. Uh, information here, especially for IT administrators, uh, you can learn about that. But it's just such a helpful tool to use, and hopefully you can find it useful in your particular classroom.